the morning. Mm, morning. Oh, why can't I see the volume? All right. Um, it's tough. It's the way you want them. So, powers that to do it uh, this other way. Make Tartaria great again. And we're all going to be a part of it. And it's going to be wonderful. No. Okay. I'm having some chips. I'm having some water. One of my, uh, John Lemazny, I think he goes, or he wants to be called Lemzy now. So, I want to look at some of these sculptures. He is a, he is an accomplished sculptor. And uh, this is the Google Plus account that he's on. I'm also on there, and apparently they're leaving. I thought it would be nice to show some of his work because um, I was a part of it to some degree. I was in the, uh, some of the same classes that uh, he did some of this work for. And... Uh, there's an amazing uh, array of work, and I wanted to acknowledge that. And we have this uh, picture here of a uh, sculpture that he did. We uh, we sculpted uh, one another, if you will, uh, busts, and that didn't really work. So I'll try it one more time, and, and it doesn't really do much. But that's uh, we joked that this was. Uh, I look like a Star Wars elder. Some, and uh, he also presented this in uh, his talk that he did at the Princeton Library, which I was in attendance. Uh, I was a little aloof. I was out of it that day a little bit, but um, I really in, enjoyed the talk. And uh, John is a very good speaker, and probably, hopefully, um, is still doing speaking. You should get back into it. Um, but uh let's see what are we gonna do here let's uh let's see what are we gonna do hit this back to this okay so there's some work that he did over the time that uh he was at bucks county community college i was also at bucks county community college in bucks county pennsylvania near uh newtown pennsylvania and uh, we had the opportunity to make some amazing aluminum casts. Here's one in the center. Um, John, uh, he made this sculpture here on uh, my family farm. Uh, it was uh, Central Bucks Farms at the time. And my nephew, Steve, still owns a farm. And... Uh, We did this work there. It was a good experience for both of us, I would think. And uh, we used to listen to Extreme back then. It was uh, good times. Uh, and uh, some of this other work I think he uh, did at the um, school. Uh, wow. I apologize. I'll just have a few chips. And you can look at this. Beautiful work. The University of the Arts in Philadelphia. He uh, was a student there. Um, I think I visited him there maybe once, only once in the whole time. I was going to the uh, School of the Art Institute of Chicago. 
Some people call it da school. I didn't call it that, but some people do and did and what have you. But um, so some of this work he definitely did there at the uh, University of the Arts in Philadelphia. The Chicago is the other one. That's where I went. Oh, boy. This is a cool piece here. I love this piece. I've never seen this piece in person, I don't think, maybe once. But apparently this is at the uh, University of the Arts. One of the top schools, art schools in the country, I would say. There are quite a few, but um, there's not an infinite number, certainly. In this country, there's some good schools. Um... Um, does um make you sound uneducated? Am I uneducated? I'm somewhat uneducated, even though I've been through some education, for sure. So, who's to say? I think it's interesting that there's this same color up here. I wonder if this is one of his pieces. I don't know. can't tell. Uh, let's get back to the main page here. This one looks awesome. Awesome. I really wish I could get to see this piece, but it's just a small piece. I, this is one of my favorites I saw on this page. I love how he just kind of uses maybe this found piece of metal, or maybe he sculpted it that way, and there's a little stick. I'm sure there's some meaning behind this. He could talk about it, and maybe we'll do an interview one day. We've done some interviews. And that. Uh, and this piece is cool, and uh, he made a piece like this that I have here that you can ring. It's a little bell, and I've, I've used it in some sound works. So you get to hear that at some point if you get into all this work. My work, and John's work, and John's work is fantastic. We all did these busts, these um, torsos. And that's a nice piece. This is kind of like in one of my uh, different uh, sound works. I have uh, John going, whoa, I like making this screaming. So it really reminds me of that. Reminds me of that piece. <clears throat> this looks like another, uh, maybe bronze, uh, not bronze, maybe it is bronze, I don't know. Aluminum, possibly. Uh, here's some more of these in this series that he did. Of all these, really nice work. Uh, I had some good stuff to say, but, uh, you know, here I get into this point and I can't think of what I was going to say because I feel like I'm on stage or something, so it's hard to really uh, get into it. But I do, uh, I own this piece, I believe, too, yep. And uh, it has currently been, I believe, separated from this uh, gear base. This is like a, a really amazing piece because we have uh, two found objects in this. An organic found object and an inorganic found object. And then the piece, the aluminum piece itself of the hunched over figure. Really powerful work there. It's a cool looking piece here. Uh, I always loved this piece. I think maybe at one point he was gonna give it to me maybe or something or we were talking about that and I was like oh I couldn't even this is a really maybe not I don't know but this is a nice piece and I think he did this at possibly at um I guess the University of the Arts maybe Bucks to tell you here's one of his heads opposite shot on that really amazing uh student work I mean for student work this is top of the heap, if you will. And some more wonderful this wire piece and this reminds me of like maybe some Da Vinci or something like that. And uh, you can tell that the, uh, he's really producing some work here and learning how to make some work. And I think uh, he went to a Martin per year exhibition and from that, he decided he really didn't want to become uh, a full-time sculptor. But, I mean, 
as you can see from the work, he had the talent and he had the ingenuity and the um, know-how. This is a piece that uh, he made and it was fantastic and I'm sure if we banged on it, it would make some good sounds because my piece that I made that was similar to this, smaller than this piece, for whatever reason, uh, really caught a little bit more attention for some reason. This uh, is, as I would say, for many artists, just as good and amazing and great work. I don't really want to go away from that, you know? It's just, wow, look at this. I think that this thing kind of had a, a, a jangly uh, sound. It was about, you know, we were talking about sound when we did these works. And uh, my piece is gone. I'm sure John's is probably gone at this point, too, maybe. I don't know. It becomes scrap after a while if no one takes an interest. And I don't know. I'd be interested to know if that piece still exists. But uh, look at this. This reminds you of like maybe a Rubik's Cube, but in a metal format. And I always like this. This is amazing. Um, I think he did that at Bucks. I did some work that was similar to this uh, then too. Here's another piece I think that was f certainly from Bucks. We used these uh, simple plinths or uh, just block of woods to use as a base. Here's another picture of this at uh, at Bucks. This is uh, where we had this courtyard there, which I believe is still there, and uh, you could put your work out there. The main original Hicks is a different Hicks art center now. Here's some kind of a, sort of a chess or uh, some kind of a game leaning in that direction. Some more pieces, another uh, bronze piece or uh, aluminum, sorry, poured aluminum. Got the opportunity to do that. More pictures of us working on that wire piece. We uh, Funny story about that, we uh, kind of used up the torch uh, um, torch gases and uh, it was a bit of a problem there but we were kind of uh, naive and to this day I still feel a little uh, weird about that I have uh, um, Steve who um, owns the shop now and is in there uh, yelling about because I personally was working on a piece and I clogged up the torch, which I don't think I did clog up the torch, but they said I did. These other kids were working there at the same time, so I thought maybe they clogged up the torch, but as I had some experience with the torch, and I wouldn't just clog up the torch, but I got yelled at for clogging up the torch, so that just becomes part of it. So this is, uh, I think I'll end this video here pretty quick, and I just wanted to show you this stuff before, you know, maybe taking off of, uh, offline, off the of Google+. Plus. It's a good site, but it's a little harder to navigate maybe than some other sites. This, this piece here, amazing. I don't, I don't, I don't recall this piece. Where the heck is it? Okay, here we go. This thing's weird. Something happened here. It's like interesting because uh, John hit his face or something at one point, and uh, this may have been a, a prelude or a. Uh, prelude, whatever, yeah, like something to say, hey, let's watch out, but, um, right, let me see if I can get out of here now, and we get out down here, back down, out, ah, uh, this, uh, yeah, okay, this, this particular picture here is, um, at this park, I don't recall the name of it, but you can certainly find it in Virginia that John and I went to when he first moved down there, and uh, well, near when he first moved down there, I guess, and I helped him move some items down there, and uh, I got the opportunity to take a picture of this wonderful piece at this park, and so this is weird. This quick time is weird, so I have to figure out how to get out of here. It tells you to do something, but I can't seem, it doesn't actually uh, seem to work, so I have to uh, quit and then hope that the, that it uh, saves it.
This computer is taking its own sweet time. I'm just going to save it.